Hello, Adam. This will be some midterm feedback for you on Milestone 1, which is the uh, print ad. And if you have any questions or uh, problems, don't hesitate to uh, check in. I post my number in the announcements. Um, and for the next four weeks, I bid you strength. Adam, this is nicely packaged, uh, and it includes the screenshots of your process. Uh, keep collecting them for the final reflection, um, and you'll have screenshots of your process on your web banner as well. And it's nice that you collected them into a single PDF. Um, you'll knit these into a narrative in your final document. So uh, screenshots like this are particularly useful. They show your file structure, etc. So good going on your documentation. Then let's see, uh, when I open up your Illustrator file, that's previous students, <clears throat> it's prompting me for images. Uh, this tells me that you have linked them uh, rather than embedded them. And if I just click through this, uh, here's what I'm left with. So it looks like you have successfully been able to embed some of them, the background image, for example, but others, I think the shell, uh, I am missing. And anyway, uh, in spite of that, you've got everything on its own layers. It's easy to turn on or off. That's great. I like your typography. It's simple. Um, sometimes it seems awkward to have something centered or have, you know, things staggered, centered here, centered here. Uh, I think it looks interesting. I would keep that if you want to, if you insist on, you know, uh, centering type. Just consider other arrangements and then think about type hierarchy because, um, let's see. Oh, these are locked. I'm going to lock these so I can play with them. Uh, type hierarchy. Your address contact information is pretty is bigger than your um, your promotion. So I would suggest you know going down on this uh, what site size, and then also think about it's a little difficult here, but think about uh, flush left rag right. Whoops rather than centering everything, um, see if there are vertical axes implied, implied line is what it's called. Perhaps there's, you know, the back of the pillow up here, this left-hand side of the, uh, the logo portion of the type, of the, uh, the type portion of the logo, the left-hand side starts to create a vertical axis that you could perhaps hang type off of. And by that I mean, let me just move some things around here. Oof. It's all those shells, isn't it? And that border. Uh, I know the border is, you know, it's nice. It's a lot of work, it, it appears. But is it too busy? And so here's what I mean by flush left, if I can. How did you center this? You didn't use word spaces, did you? I hope not. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Not, probably not the best way to do it. Um, contrast, of course, is an issue here. Uh, <clears throat> you know, just for purposes of illustration, black. It also depends on where you put it. Uh, work on your copy now. You probably don't want to be this verbose. Um, but anyway, think about type hierarchy as well as visual hierarchy. I'll go back to the uh, PDF version of this. Well, let me go back to uh, one of your screenshots where I see everything in place. And I guess my, my main comment would, would be, uh, do you really need um, this busy border? I mean, if you go back a stage, to this, you know, in some ways, I think that's that's almost preferable. But maybe that's just me. Um, I don't want to uh, to to limit you. So um, let's see. I guess those suggestions is you know maybe use only one of the shell silhouettes. Um, maybe large, you know, coming up asymmetrically from perhaps the lower right corner. I'm not sure, um, but I think using it as a uh, border, the shell dilutes it and uh, I would rather that you focus on your very competent mask uh, and let that shine through. Okay Adam I think that's enough for now. Um, again if you need any help or feedback uh, don't hesitate to reach out.